Jacobs here at the Haven Country Club. I'm on the 16th hole and I wanted to go over three keys to hitting solid iron shots. Uh, I know some people struggle um, with hitting iron solid and uh, I think there are three drills that will help you. So let's get into hitting iron shots. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is being very centered. So when we make our golf swing with the iron, we don't want to have a lot of movement back and forward. So I'm going to have you hit golf balls with your feet together. Now, you should be able to hit pretty consistent shots with your feet together. So with our feet together, this will not allow you to have a whole lot of upper body and lower body movement side to side when we're hitting our shot. So we get in our stance. I'm using a seven iron for this drill. We put the ball pretty much in the center of our stance. And now we're gonna make a full swing at full speed. And you should be hitting shots almost as far as normal and pretty high. So uh, this is a great drill to teach you how to stay stable. I would hit one or two like this, and then I get my normal golf stance and hit one like that, trying to stay stable, rotating, without allowing a whole lot of lateral movement back and forth. Now drill number two requires two tees, and we're gonna place these tees just outside the width of our iron head and right where the golf ball is. Then we're gonna make the shot and hit the shot and we're gonna see where this divot starts. The low point of the golf swing, so the club head, the lowest point the club should be, should be out ahead of this golf ball. The divot should start at the ball and the lowest point that club head travels with an iron should be after the ball. This drill really tells you where you're striking the ground. A lot of people think that they're hitting crisp iron shots, but they're gonna see their divot looks like this. So that, that divot started behind the ball. We gotta make sure that when we're striking the ground with the club, that it's striking right at the ball. Okay, our third and final drill uh, is the pause at the top and then hit your shot. This is extremely difficult, uh, but it really teaches you how to have a proper tempo golf swing. We want our backswing to be three times as long as our downswing. And too many people are really quick at the start and really quick at the change, but not so quick at the ball. The tour pros all look like they are taking nice easy swings because they slowly develop their speed until the fastest part of their golf swing is right around the golf ball. So this drill is gonna look like this. I'm gonna set up to it. Get up to the top. I'm going to stay here and then strike the ball. I think most of you will have a really difficult time at the start, but little by little, you're going to be able to figure out okay, what starts my downswing? How does my tempo uh, work? And how can I fly the most amount of speed from this point of the golf swing all the way down to the ball? Use those three drills. You're going to hit better and uh, higher quality iron shots and you're going to score better.